we're going to calculate the volume of this pipe. Okay, so what are the informations that are given? You got the length of this pipe is 12 meters. The length of the pipe is given to be 12 meters. The outer diameter, the outer diameter is from year to year. From year to year, the diameter is given to be 2 meters. So this is given to be 2 meters. And the thickness, this is the thickness of the pipe. This thickness is given to be how much? This is 40 centimeters. You want to find how much concrete was used in this pipe. So let's imagine this is a concrete pipe. The thickness is 40 centimeters. The outer diameter is 2 meters and the length of the is 12 meters. It's a long pipe. And you want to find how much concrete was used. Now to find the concrete or the volume of uh, concrete used, what we would want to do is we want to find the volume of the pipe from outside. So imagine this is a compact, this is not hollow. Imagine when you're finding the volume of the outside pipe, you're considering it, it's not hollow. And from that, if you find the volume of the inside pipe, then you can find the volume of the concrete. So you, let me write the formula. So the volume of concrete, volume of concrete, this is a, a made up formula. You can make up your own formula. This That would be the volume of cylinder. So this has the shape of a cylinder. Volume of cylinder. Uh, externally or from outside. So I'll write in the bracket outside. So imagine a pipe which is compact, which is not hollow. And from that, if you take away the volume of the cylinder inside, volume of the cylinder inside, that will give you the concrete used. So, or basically from the outside volume of the cylinder, if you take out the inside volume, that will give you the volume of the concrete. So if the thickness is, say, 40 centimeter, that's how many meters? that's a 0.4 meters okay because everything is in meters so let me change this into meters so if the outside radius sorry if the outside diameter is two meters what would be the inside inside diameter i'm talking about this diameter from inside if you measure from year to year uh let me move this i'm talking about the inside diameter okay so i'm so the outside diameter we know is 2 meters. From one end to the other is 2 meters. So the inside would be from 2, if you take away, you have to take away 40 centimeters from here and 40 centimeters from here. Is it making sense? That is 80 centimeters. So from 2 meters, so from 2 meters, you take away 80 centimeters which is 0.8 meters. That will give you the inside uh, diameter. So that would be 1.2. This would be 1.2 meters. We can say the inside diameter, the inner diameter, inner diameter. If you take away the thickness from both sides, that will give you the inner diameter, which is 2 meters minus 0.8 meters which is 1.2 meters. So this means, now volume of a cylinder, let me write the formula for volume of a cylinder, hopefully you know, volume of a cylinder is base area times height. The, the, a cylinder is a prism, so the base area is circular, which is pi r squared times height. Okay, and the height is common. Okay, so if the outside diameter is 2 meters, what's the inside diameter? Inside diameter, uh, sorry, radius, sorry. Outside, if the outside diameter is 2 meters, the outer radius would be 1 meter. 
Is that clear? So we are looking because we need the radius. We don't need the diameter. So yeah, the inner di inner diameter is 1.6 meters. So inner radius would be half of that, which is 0 0.6 meters. The height is the same. So the volume using this formula would be pi times radius squared. For outside, we have to take the outside radius, which is 1 squared times 12, okay, minus pi times 0.6 squared times 12. I'll keep pi as it is. So this is, this is going to be pi times 1, pi times 1 times 12, which is 12 pi. Take away pi times 0 0.36 times 12. So let me use a calculator. What is 0 0.36 times 12? So menu, run, menu, run. So this is 0 0.6 squared times 12, which is 4.32 pi. So this is, this is 12 pi minus 4.32 pi. How did I get the 4.32? That is 0 0.6 squared, which is 0 0.36 times 12. And then I go 12 minus 4.32, which is 7.68 pi. So the volume is 7.68 pi meter cube because we have converted everything into meters. And if you want to write, write this in a decimal form, so I'll go 7.68 times shift pi, which is 24.127 meter cube in 3DP. 24.127 meter cube concrete was used to make this cylindrical hollow pipe. Okay, let's look at this example. So the thickness, uh, the outer radius, so the outer diameter, sorry, the outer diameter, so this is the diameter from outside, and the thickness is given to be, uh, the thickness is given to be, uh, this is in centimeters, sorry, this is in millimeters. This is 65 millimeters. This is not centimeters. This is 2 millimeters. 2 millimeters. So the same approach from the outside. If you take away the inside, you will get the volume of the wafer used in the cone. So, so uh, volume of wafer used volume of wafer used is outside volume let me write in short outside volume minus inner volume or inside volume inside inside volume or outer volume minus inner volume. That's what I mean. Okay, so here to find the outside volume, so this is the outside diameter. So this implies the inner outer radius would be half of 65, which is 32.5 32.5 millimeter. Now the thickness is how many millimeter? This thickness is two millimeters. So, and this thickness is also 2 millimeters. This is also 2 millimeters. So, if you want to find the inside radius, this is the inside radius from year to year. That will be 65 minus 4, which is 61 millimeter. Okay, so you can say the inner or the inner radius, inner R would be 61, so 61 divided by 2. The inner diameter is 61, so the inner radius would be half of that, which is 30.5.
Now this is a this is a prism, so the volume would be uh, pi r squared pi times radius squared for outside the radius is 32.5 squared times the height. What's the height? This is 15, 150 millimeter. So let me change the whole thing into millimeter times 150 divided by 3. Volume of a prism is, so the pyramid is base area. This is the base area. Die times radius squared times height. Take away the inner radius is pi times 30.5 squared times the height is 150 divided by 3. So 3 goes in 150 how many times? 50 times. So 3 goes in 150 50 times. So let's simplify this first. Let's write this in pi. So let me write. So let me do the whole thing together. So you can do the whole thing like this. So shift pi times 32.5 squared times 50 take away shift pi times 30.5 squared times 50. So this is the outer radius, sorry, outer volume take away the inner volume. That will give you the answer is this is in millimeter cubes. So 19,792 millimeter cube. So the answer is 19,792 millimeter cube.